Hi blog readers, Alvin here. Thanks for visiting eatdrinkexperience.com and today I want to share with you a little bit of a twist on a modern cocktail. So today we're going to make a ginger peach mojito. I'm going to start with a fresh Texas peach that are just starting to come in season here. We're just going to take the pit out of this. We're going to chop up the flesh, so we're not too worried about keeping that in the whole piece. But we're just going to do a rough chop on this really quick here. Put that, whoops, I've had one already. Put that in the bottom of our cocktail glass. This, you can use really any kind of seasonal fruit with this. Peaches work great with ginger, so we're going to... We're going to pair those two together. Next we have a, uh, I don't know, this is a half inch piece of ginger. We want to crush this before we put it in the cocktail. So pretty much just crush it just like you would garlic and then you see there you get all the ginger juices out. So we'll throw that into the cup. Here I have about 20 mint leaves. It's important when you're doing any kind of cocktail with mint that first you want to spank your mint. It's been very bad growing in your herb garden so you just want to spank it a couple times, see it ran away there. And that gets starts to get all the juices and essential oils out of the leaves. And then I never cut mint, I always tear it. So we're just gonna tear this into the glass here, into just rough pieces. I personally like mojitos that, that come with the side salad, that you get to chew the mint leaves, so we're not gonna really strain these out. Uh, I have friends that prefer the, the boring mojito, as I call it, with with no leaves, no foliage in their drink. Here I've got about a tablespoon of dark brown sugar. A lot of people use white sugar for their mojitos and white rum. I think you get a much better flavor if you use a dark brown sugar and a dark, darker rum. So I've got a uh, Florida Kenya rum here. This is a fairly inexpensive bottle I picked up at my local warehouse store, AKA Costco, and I don't really weigh or measure alcohol out when I'm using it, but um, we're just gonna do it. I usually count it, so it's like one, one thousand, two, one thousand, that's probably good. So what we want to do is just muddle this, and what we're looking to do here, you also notice that I don't own a muddling stick. I actually do own one, but I find that this works much better. It gets me into deeper glasses, so if I'm making these for a big crowd, I don't have to, I'm not hitting my hand against the, the rim of the glass. So what we're looking to do here is really bruise up that mint and get some of those oils from the, the mint and the juices from the peach into the cocktail. So it's a combination of stirring and smashing whatever's in our cup here. I actually meant to do this before I poured the rum. That's what I normally do. but. If you uh, forget like I did, it's not a big deal. We're getting all the juices and the, the essential oils from the mint and the ginger, all the peach juice into the rum. And that looks pretty good. Now what we want to do is chill this down. So we're going to use some ice cubes here, big handful of large ice cubes. We're going to talk more about ice here in a minute because ice is a big part of cocktail culture. Right now really good bartenders are, are using the appropriate ice for the drink that they're making whether, whether that's a crushed ice, a cubed ice, a, a shaved ice. All we're looking to do with this is chill it down. And we want to continue that bruising of the mint. That's going to extract more oil. So this is definitely a cocktail you want to shake at this point. So we'll put our tin on and give this a good. You always have to smile when you're doing these type of cocktails. All right. That smells delicious. It smells like peach cobbler. Okay. Now, a year ago I would have drank this out of this cup. I would have topped it off with a little soda, which we're, we're still going to top it off with some soda. But I've been big into wine glasses lately. 
they, if you think about the shape of a wine glass, it gives you the, the perfect shape to launch all that aroma, that smell, into your nose while you're drinking the, the beverage. So I drink almost everything out of a wine glass now that I really want to enjoy. So this I definitely want to enjoy. So what we're going to do is start to chill our wine glass with this. And I started to talk about ice. This, what I have in this container here is some dry ice, some compressed, frozen carbon dioxide. And this is a great ice to use for a number of reasons. One, it looks really cool. You're going to have a lot of foam, like sort of fog billowing out of your cup here, your glass. Second, there's no liquid in dry ice, as the name implies. So you're not going to dilute your cocktail. It's just going to stay cold. It's also carbon dioxide. So it's actually going to slightly carbonate your drink, which is something that we like here in a mojito. We're going to use a carbonated water with it. Uh, but mo you know, there's a lot of cocktails that, that involve some type of carbonation. If, now, if you, uh, if you have a cocktail that either you want dilution in or you don't want carbonation in, by all means, don't use dry ice. But if you have it on hand, this is really good. It, um, we're going to talk more about the dry ice in a minute. But I'm just going to put a couple of chunks of the dry ice into my low wine glass there. And I don't want to include any of the ice cubes that we use to shake this. So I'm going to first strain off the liquid, roughly. And you can see it start to sort of billow out there. You know, if you're doing this for a crowd, you make sure you pour high. that we use to initially chill the cocktail. I, I, like I said earlier, I, I want all of these, all of this mint and peach and ginger. I think it adds a nice culinary sort of aspect to this cocktail. So we're going to actually put that in there. Get as much of those solids in there as you can. Rip out our tin for the next round. Okay. Now this is for the most part completely undiluted at this point. So we do want to dilute it a little bit with, uh, this is just a lime flavored sparkling water. We probably want to add one part of the water to two parts of the, the drink mixture. Maybe about, this is about half a can. And then we do a little